Today I will be talking about my Adel Auto Glider and Launch System. This is just a launch of my glider with the Adel Adel. And basically this is just showing you some footage of some how basically to how this works. Um, and it's basically this arrow has a loop on the end of it and there's a hook on the plane and the plane just flies off the hook. It's kind of a similar to a bungee launch system for a plane except instead of a bungee cord there's you're just your arm. So there's an example of what that is. I'm going to show you now how to build um, the Adelato for this. So you'll just need some string, uh, glue to mend the string. Hot glue is an optional um, item that you might need if you want to just make sure it's nice and strong. I did it and I would recommend doing it. Um, an arrow, barbecue skewer, um, I don't know why I'm showing the string right now. Um, uh, easy snips, uh, the hammer, and anything to cut the string with. So right now, I'm just going to cut the string. It doesn't matter too much how long you make it, but you don't want to make it extremely long because if you make it too long, um, it will affect how the how stable it is on the actual launcher, how the stable the plane is actually on the launcher. So, but you don't want to make it too short because then it won't fit in the arrow and provide the needed um, strength um, that the pine um, barbecue skewer will uh, allow. Um, I just dropped the glue. Um, how much uh, and it will allow? It needs more. Str it needs more length to basically um, to keep it sturdy. So this is just me fast forwarding through the gluing process of mending the the string and. Um, Basically, you just want to mend it. It doesn't have to be perfect, so you don't have to spend too much time on it. I just fast forward through this whole part because it's pretty easy. It takes too long, and I wanted to commentate over um, so that it wouldn't take a thousand years for me to do this. But I'm just going to talk randomly for right now just because it's going to take a little bit just for the me to mend my string. Um, and about halfway through this clip, because I'm watching the video as I commentate, um, it will be done. So it's about to be done we're about to be there um, but I'll just go ahead and talk about the next step while I'm here the next step is we're gonna take the barbecue skewer and the string and we're gonna make a loop of the string uh, similar to you and we're gonna stick both ends into this into the end where the arrowhead usually goes in the arrow um, and then we're gonna take our barbecue skewer so here's me entering the string uh, both ends into the arrow now we're going to take our barbecue skewer and we're going to insert it into that hole as well. And this is an important step. You want to make sure that you keep the two pieces of the string close to each other and you insert the barbecue skewer so that the barbecue skewer is behind the two pieces of string. So it's string, and like how you see now, there's two pieces of string and then the barbecue uh, skewer is like right behind it. Um, and this will keep it, basically support the, the string while it's moving. So yeah, this is basically me hammering it in. You want to have a little bit uh, extra, so as I moved it over, it holds that string a little bit better since it's in the front like that, how it just shows you right there. So this is just me showing this, uh, that give you a better angle. That that's It needs to be in the front, and then the barbecue and your skewer needs to be behind. So now I'm going to be explaining some uh, important tips to launching. So I'm going to show you the good and the bad ways to launch. So here we go. So you want to flick your wrist. That's flicking your wrist. This is not. If you do not flick your wrist like that, if you do this, you will launch it into the ground. And that is very bad because you're going to destroy your plane. And look at my plane. It looks nice. I don't want to flow it into the ground because I've done that too many times. So this is just a close kind of a back view of kind of me putting it on, uh, putting on the hook on the atolato onto the hook of the plane. And it's pretty, it's obvious. It's self-explanatory. And then you just flick your wrist and it launches away.
Here are a few tips for success for launching. To keep your plane from rotating around while it's on your hand, you might want to keep it on the ground until you're ready to launch. Keep it as uh, parallel with your legs, and then when you're ready to launch, go ahead and swing it forward, flick your wrist, and you'll get a good launch. Practice makes perfect. If you can get yourself into a key habit of training this over time, you can get perfect launches like that and get heights of up to 25 feet easily. This was a really good launch, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like the video and share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.